Bruh, indeed. I, I, I ain't got the time to do no... I'm in the wrong race. I ain't got no time to do no uh, <laughs> long-ass intro. We're just out here practicing again. I thought I'd check in and uh, make, a, make a public appearance, unlike uh, Joe Biden. Has he, has he appeared yet? Is he still missing? Anyway, we're just back in some set, of course. We're just doing some more practicing. Um, I did. I was very lucky to get an F1 2019 code uh, from them on Discord earlier. And I did like a tiny bit. It was like an hour ago. I did a tiny bit of practice. And I was like, oh my god, these cars are way too fast for me. So let's do the Nürburgring. against a fun circuit. Um, so yeah, F1 cars are currently way too fast for me. I haven't got the reflexes yet to handle it with the wheel. I can do it on a pad, but that's just, what's the point? So I need a bit more practice in F1 before I can keep up with the in immense amount of grip and pace. So I'm here back on a uh, uh, Seto course. Actually, I can't do that. Uh, just doing some more practices. Oh, word! Where is that, Rusty? I mean, I, we can come back. I'll just come back to this. Let me have a quick look. Is it free forever or just for like a limited time? 100% orange juice. But yeah, I'm just back just doing some practice. Oh, here we go. Free. Sick. Ah, multiplayer. I have no idea what it is. Maybe we can uh, all everyone on Discord can grab that and we can all play it. Sounds fun. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll add it now. I'll uh, install it later. I'll check it out later. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of good deals going around at the moment. I've got quite a lot of new games recently. I'm playing Hella Road Redemption. That's really fun, actually. And it didn't seem that good the first time I played it, which was kind of accidentally on stream. Cool, yeah, uh, we'll do a shout on Discord. We'll maybe get everyone to play it, and we can play it all, all together on uh, on the weekend. Well, uh, yeah, check it out. But, um, yeah, I've got loads of new games. Uh, I'm pretty lucky at the moment. There's lots of good stuff going on. It's keeping me busy. So, yeah, we're back in a set of course, just doing some practice. I'm still learning with the wheel. F1 cars are way too fast for me, so we're back in the... Back in the uh, the, the trusty yellow Corvette. What I've done is you can't see my screen because unfortunately only one a set of course wrap can capture at a time and this is the, the menu rather than the game. Uh, I'm doing a, what is essentially a multi-class race because I want to have some faster cars that I can kind of learn to get out the way of. Um, so I have some of the Lotus single seater kind of F1 type things because there aren't any LMP1s in the base content. I don't have them yet. So they're like really, really fast. So I have to get out the way of them. Let's set up like I've got the difficulty again pretty high. I'm on 93%, I think. Where am I? This game has so many menus. Yeah, I've got a 15 lap race at the Nürburgring GP circuit. 93% difficulty. Let's jump into that. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's keeping safe, keeping busy, keeping occupied. I've been doing lots of cooking. Uh, I had a bit of a bit of a do nothing day yesterday because I was supposed to be going out for my morning bike ride and Rosie escaped. I mean, the cats go in the garden, but they are kind of indoor cats. They can't really go around the neighborhood. And she just ran into the neighbor's garden and then ran out the neighbor's garden into somebody else's garden. And I was like, and she wouldn't come back. She wasn't responding to toys or treats or anything. So I was like, oh God. So I had to run through my neighbor's garden, jumping over two fences, and then go into the next neighbor's garden and retrieve her. And then on the way back, I fell over the fence and twisted my ankle. <laughs> so I'm a bit, I can't really move very much. I can move pedals. I went out for a short bike ride today and I'm fine. And then my neighbor came out and had a go at me so i was just like oh god so uh yeah i kept the cats in today normally they're fine they just sit in the garden and they just like make noises with the birds and play around a little bit then go back in but uh, for some reason she just wanted to just escape and unfortunately they're too because they're rescue cats they get scared so easily they're not really capable of doing that so anyway we're here at the Nürburgring gp circuit back in the the, the piss yellow corvette Oh god. Now trying to keep out the way of some Formula One-esque cars. We have some GTs in there as well, so it'll be a multi-class. I'll be racing the GTs and staying out of the way of the F1 cars. Which is kind of good practice, because eventually I'd love to run some competitive multi-class races with like LMP1s and stuff like that, which I will have to learn to get out of the way of, because LMP1 drivers are maniacs. Oh my god. So yeah, I've been doing a fair bit of practice. Uh, last couple of days with the wheel, just learning to get better. Oop, downshift production. Yeah, just trying to get more consistent and smoother. And just work on driving cleanly, not oversteering like I did there, not melting my tyres and locking my brakes, not hitting people. 
I mean, my dream would be... Ooh, it's a bit too deep. My dream would be able to race on something like iRacing semi-competitively. I'd quite happily run at the back and just not crash into people. That's my, like, nightmare, is, like, being that guy. You can almost take this corner flat out. You know, that happens if you take it flat. You have to lift a little bit. My dream would be just to run at the back, like, somewhere, you know, somewhere near the back, cleanly not hitting anyone, being consistent, being a good sport. Ooh, gold. Not dive-bombing people or crashing and having to retire and getting bad safety rating. I'm all about trying to be smooth and consistent. So I'm going to continue learning against against a computer, controlled drives for a little bit, and then eventually we can... I'd love to do that. I, mean, I don't know realistically, because like iRacing is quite a financial investment, and it's also quite a lot of time. You absolutely can, but it's strongly frowned upon. For vehicular manslaughter, I have been playing a lot of Road Redemption lately, which is actually super fun. I've been like getting a bit obsessed with that. I bet you could play that, even though it's a motorbike game. That'd probably be pretty fun with the wheel. But yeah, I, I'm, the whole aim of this game is to not crash. So, ooh. there we go. I'm trying to be nice and smooth with the wheel. So I'm just doing some practice laps at first, just to get back up to speed. I know I know this circuit reasonably well. So there, there are the uh, lotuses we have to get out of the way of, which is kind of like something similar to a 2010 F1 car. Ooh, that's a bit wide. Ooh, and there, yeah, cut detected. Lap will not count, bruh. See, I'll get some practice laps in. We'll do a qualifying. I'm not too fussed about qualifying because I tend to be a bit faster than the AI cars, so I like to kind of work my way through them. So this is all going to be about trying to manage 15 laps on a reasonably challenging circuit without crashing. Or punting everyone else into oblivion whole aim is to break nice and early, take the proper line for the corner like I just did. Not there though. <laughs> Try to be as smooth as possible and learn how to be a considerate racing driver. Oh my god. It's right up my chuff. Go on. Go past. Go, I know you're in a faster car. Go on. I'm giving you like all the road you need. Whoop. Bruh. So that's what you have to watch out for. Like letting faster cars by is so difficult. Like you wouldn't think it is, but it really like without impeding their race or yours or causing a massive accident. So if they're coming up behind you, you'll get a blue flag, and if you get too many of those, you get a penalty. So nice and smooth. Let's take some of the ooh, too much curb. Smooth on exit. Alright, let's see how my lap time is. Even though, even though I cut the bloody corner, so I'll let that one count. Where are we up to? Oh, still last. <laughs> lap didn't count. Right, let's go. Oh my god. I, just, I love the difference in, in how much time you get to think driving these cars. Like driving the F1 cars, you just don't have time to think, and it's so deceptive because the car has so much grip. You can make the corner, like regardless of if you're a bit wide or a bit fast, the grip is there, but your brain can't think fast enough to process that. <laughs> These cars are a bit more forgiving. Not as much grip or speed, but like you can just kind of lift off and glide through the corner and you can break a bit earlier and it won't punish you. Because I was, I was racing against the AI, like not even on that hard, like 80%. Whoops. Oh, damn it. And, um, if I was in any way conservative, I would just lose time to them. And it's like, you have to be like balls to the wall all the time in those cars. Let me see. I'll just go straight to... Uh, I kind of run best with somebody in front of me anyway. I'll just run to qualify and get a lap in. Let's put the soft tires on just so I get a bit of an advantage. To be honest, I'm more worried about when I'm in the race, just being smooth and consistent. When you have other drivers for visual references for things like braking and turning points, it's much easier. I don't like this car park section at the start of this track. It was much better before they changed it. Oh god, that's really wide. <laughs> I 
Although I do like how this circuit is pretty much the same as it has been for the last like 30 years. I remember playing uh, this circuit on like Grand Prix 2 back when I was about 6 and it's still pretty much the same. So late on the throttle there. Let's go lift off here. Ooh, a bit deep. Yeah, it's too deep. Got to break earlier than that. Ooh, yeah, wrong line through there too. I definitely like using the wheel. I do get a far better sense of consistency. Like whenever you're using the race, like the game pad, for like serious racing games, you kind of always feel on the edge, and like because you are constantly just throwing the car into every corner, and you're not nuancing your inputs as much. I like being way more delicate with my steering. I'd be like full lock here on a pad. I like being able to be a bit. Smooth. And then you wonder why you crash every two seconds while you're on a pad, because because you can't be subtle. Okay, just after the 150 mark, turning nice and early, nice shallow line on the power early, because I'm wheel straight, wide entry here. Nice. And again, wide entry so I can. Flick over. Ooh, a bit deep. It'll do. Ooh. One thing I definitely haven't got I need to get better at is just qualifying. Like it's interesting, I find like I tend to qualify like near the back in the on this difficulty, but then I'm so much faster than the AI in the actual races. I'm like a good three seconds a lap faster, but I'm, you know, three seconds a lap slower in qualifying. A lot of it is setup work, and I haven't got the car set up for qualifying other than soft tyres, but... I need to kind of put more effort into driving aggressively on my qualifying laps. But then again, I'm just trying not to crash, so... Right, a bit earlier this time. That's better. A bit wobbly. Plenty of time up on my last laps, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, coming in a bit hot there. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Just a bit late on the brakes, and then cut the chicane, lap won't count. We'll go give it another go. Lotus is coming through. That's a pretty reputable time. If it wasn't disallowed to cut the corner. Nice, that was just the perfect place to break. Time, so that's pretty good. <laughs> now that was sloppy. Cool, almost a second up on my last lap. That's pretty good. Yeah, again, nice. Better lap than last time. Of here. The power earlier, nice. Tires drop the temperature now, I guess. It's actually a pretty good lap. Ooh, that was that was sloppy. That whole chicane was bad. crazy how much more delicate you can be with your inputs than driving like the faster F1 cars. Okay, right. Earlier. 
Yeah, and see, that's where I lose the time because I cut the chicane last time. And I gained it all back again, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Cool, I'm like second place out of the GT cars. I'll take that. I'll probably be lower down once everyone's set their lap. I'm just going to skip qualifying, but yeah, I'm only behind a couple of cars. Not bad. I bet I'll be somewhere like around 20th place after everyone's done the laps. Oh no, I'm still 13th, so cool. I'm third place out of the uh, GT cars. That's pretty good. Hey. Right, make sure I've got enough fuel. Uh, let's take one extra. Cool, right, I'll just have a quick, quick booth. I'm well supplied on uh, vape pods and liquid enough to last me for a few months. <laughs> Luckily, I, I don't get through this. Like, I, I use this way more on stream than I do during the day. I guess it's part of like a, a not a nervous thing, I guess. It's just like a, something to do. Something to do with my hands. Cool. So I should be, I reckon by the time, if we have a look at the previous one, so the uh, Lotuses are about 20 seconds a lap faster almost. So I imagine they'll be, they'll come through at least once. So I'll, I will get a lap by them at least once during the race. So I'll have an opportunity to get out the way of them and let them race cleanly without being hit by them because they're maniacs. Absolutely rusty. My content is kid friendly, but not made for kids. I try and swear way less than I'm on stream. I'm quite, I'm quite sweary IRL, but I like to try and uh, make exceptions because I know a lot of people are under 18, and I would hate it if their parents walked in on them watching me and I'm swearing like a sailor, and they were like, "No, Billy, you can't watch. You can't watch the purple haired man anymore." <laughs> I had to redo my hair; it's like so faded, but I'm like not going out or doing anything, so I'm just like, "Fuck it." My roots are so bad too. I need to redo my hair, but whatever. Anyway, all right. No restarts, let's do this. Do not want a lap one crash. Luckily I only have two cars in front of me, so everyone's a bit slow on the first lap, so I should be able to work my way up to probably like first place by the end of the first lap. That Ferrari sounds great. That's a lot better than my farty Chevrolet. Nice and slow. Ooh, someone's on the inside. <laughs> Made it through T1 without dying. Ooh, God, they break so early on lap one. Oh, come on. <laughs> RIP front splitter. Sign that, that would be a zero X if this was I racing. Oh, shit, just downshifted too hard. <laughs> If you didn't wreck the engine, just put a few too many revs on it. So the mission here is, I can 100% be faster than first place. 100%. Hang on, did I put the right tyres on? I hope so. I can 100% be faster than first place. The truth is, just can I be consistent enough to stay in front of first place for 15 laps? That's always the bit that gets me. I can absolutely be faster over three or five laps, but can I maintain over 15? Oh, he's gone a bit wide. Hey, A16, how's it going? Yeah, it's the world's worst sim race Reddit again. We, we're here on the Nürburgring. Uh, we're doing a multi-class today, so I'm in the, I'm in the GT3s. And there are some, the closest thing I could find to like a P1 was um, the Lotus like 2010 sort of F1 car, but not an F1 car thing. Just because they have some P1s, but they have the Group C ones and they're like not that much faster than the GT3s. So I wanted to have them up front. So I have to negotiate them later on in the race. I've got to let them pass cleanly because my aim would be to run in multi-class. That's kind of what I like the most, so. I'm trying to just be consistent over 15 laps. Can I go full sand? Not quite. I'm trying to race cleanly over 15 laps. I'd love to win. If I come second place or something, that's fine. 
without crashing, without restarting. Oh, I got to run. And letting the oh, bit deep. And letting the uh, the P ones, as I'll call them. Oh, just brushed my splitter at the back. Oh, bit wide. Yeah, I'd love to be able to win. Cleanly let the P ones pass. It is no burgering GP layout. Oh yeah, I, I I can't do the Norge life yet. That's that's a bit too advanced for me. I can do that on like with a pad or in like a not so serious game. But if I do that on a wheel, I will absolutely die. Right, cool. I'm in the lead now. Let's do some clean laps. Like, I know the Norwich life pretty well, but not quite well enough to do it on a wheel in a sim. There we go. Nice clean corner exit. Just a slight lift here. Yeah, I like the, the Nürburgring GP layout because it's kind of... It's flowing and has lots of interesting corners and, corners and gradient changes, but it's not quite... It's not easy, I would say. It's pretty straightforward and it's quite easy to learn, but the corners are a little bit challenging. And it's not the easiest track to pass on as well, so you have to kind of think about it. Uh, yeah, that's the M3 GT2 behind me and I'm, I'm in the C7 GT2. So I say GT3s, but they're just kind of like generic. There's like, this is a GTLM, I think, and that's a GT2. The Ferrari's a GT2 and then there's a few various GT3s. This is just like the all of the GTs. There's like a reasonable difference and there's like maybe like two or three seconds between the fastest and the slowest one, so it creates a nice kind of spread. But you typically get the Ferrari and the BMW and the uh, Lamborghini up front. Corvette on certain tracks is pretty fast, but... Oh, here we go. I think the only real advantage is the GT2s get um, super soft tyres for qualifying, but in the race that's not really much use. And a pit every two laps. I managed to qualify P3, I'm actually pretty happy because normally I'm not the best at qualifying. Hey, finally did that section properly. Gaining a little bit of time. Ooh, hit the curb. I was playing, uh, I, I managed to get, I was really, uh, Dem on Discord was super nice and he gave me an, oh god, an F1 2019 Steam code before the stream, like about like an hour ago. And I did a little bit of practice in it, but the F1 cars are way too fast for me at the moment. I was like, I couldn't think going into the corners. It comes at you so quickly. And the cars have so much grip and downforce, so it's like you can make it, but it's just mentally processing. Like, you're thinking, I'm going too fast for this corner, and you're not. It also doesn't help that F1, the, the, the 2019 car is like the fastest ones ever by quite, some cons by quite a considerable distance. They just have so much power, so much downforce and so much grip. And then with that game, it's like even though I had the AI on pretty, pretty difficult, like I could keep pace with them on a clear track, but as soon as you're side by side with them, I just couldn't think fast enough. I tried to do like a five lap race around um, Albert Park and I just kept hitting people, <laughs> kept hitting people and spinning. And also the brakes lock really easily in those cars as well. So I was just like locking my brakes up in almost every corner. Yeah, I haven't run the M3 yet. The only uh, GT cars I've tried in this so far were the uh, the Nissan GTR, which I didn't like, and then the Corvette, which I liked a lot. So this is this is my boy at the moment. I maybe try uh, maybe later on in the stream I'll try the uh, M3 out. I do like I do like the BMW GT cars. Like I like the the big boy, the M8. I think that's a really Interesting. That's why, that's why I like GT3s because I like how all the cars are so different, but then they're so well homologated that they end up with really similar performance despite they're all so different. Like there's like those Bentleys and they're enormous. And you've got that racing against like a Porsche 911. It's just like it's just so funny. I wouldn't you wouldn't ever expect those cars to be similar at all. But hey, damn, how's it going? Thanks to the F1 code, dude. I really appreciate that. I was uh, I was slamming some before the stream, but I need way more practice before I can play that. We're just here in Assetto Corsa. I'm running I'm running some cars that are much more my 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 skill level with just in some some kind of generic GT3s. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I haven't even got into setups and stuff like that yet. I'm just running base setups because I want to just get consistent before I start worrying about pace. Like I could definitely draw. I could definitely go like if I was like trying to like 
set really fast times. I can go like at least a good second faster, but my aim is to just I'm racing on 93%, so not not terribly low, but not the highest either. My aim is just to get really smooth and consistent, be able to do things like a 15 lap race on quite a, you know a reasonably challenging surface, really reasonably challenging circuit, and not the easiest car in the whole world to drive without crashing. That's my aim. So I could I could be really good at hot lapping, but if I get to a race, then. Uh, if I get to a race and then I can't go five laps without crashing, that's going to be no good. Please, my lap times are getting faster and faster, which is really nice. Ooh, go watch out for that wall. I was doing a race on the circuit the other day, and I was I was leading, and I just clipped the um, the pit entry wall there. I did a David Coulthard and uh, damaged the suspension on my front right and I had to drive with the wheel like at a 15 degree angle to the left for like the last four laps and it was really really challenging. <laughs> Here we go. Bit wide through there but it's okay. Bit slow on power as well. Yeah, I definitely need a bit more practice in F1 before I can I could I could even do a five lap race, let alone stream it. A little bit slow through there. Okay, I'll check it out. But again, the reason I've, I've been picking the Corvette is just because I, I've been using it a lot, so I I know how it handles, I know how it responds, I know how much throttle I can give before the rear starts to break away and. I know how to catch it if I kind of skid a little bit. Yeah, it's it's just a very kind of like neutral car, I think. It's not It's not one way or the other too much. Ooh wee. Yeah, I'd be interested to try out the uh try out the M3. But I quite like how the uh what's a bit fast. I quite like how the Corvette is a little bit slippy, so you have to be a bit careful with how you drive it. Like you can't just be like if I slam the throttle, that happens. So it's it's nice to be like I'd love to work on getting like traction control off, getting anti-lock brakes off, getting ABS off, being able to just drive really smoothly without without spinning and crashing. Nice and consistent. Of course, I'm a second down on this lap, so I can be a bit smooth on the next one. Yeah, that will probably make it a bit more stable. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check it out after this. I'll see how they compare. So I got a good five seconds on second place, which is pretty good. I wonder when the uh, Lotus are going to start coming back around again. Ooh, come on. Ooh, round wide there. Oh, that was, a, that was a dog's dinner. Not the cleanest first sector. I really don't like the, the, the car park section on this track at the start. I remember when it was just like a like kind of right left chicane before they changed it like in the 2000s it was way more fun but they needed more runoff area for the front first corner because it was too high speed unfortunately the track got tilted a little bit nice you can go a bit deep into that corner because it gives you better acceleration off Ooh. okay can be a bit bolder here oh that's too early on the throttle yeah. Oh, I've got a blue flag, so that means there's a Lotus coming up. Ooh, completely took my eye off the corner there. Oh god, he's right there. Go on, through you go. So there we go, that's that's my P1 class. Oh, there's another one as well, that's the race, well, second place. The race leaders. <laughs> See, I, I like accommodating that. Again, this isn't the easiest circuit to pass on, so it's nice being able to give them some space and work out how to get out the way and take the outside line but without compromising my own race. There's another one coming up as well. Checking my mirrors. Like watching the mirrors, oh god, and the road simultaneously. 
So I lost a bit of time on that lap because I was not the cleanest. There we go. Still five seconds between me and second place, so I'd like to try and work on that gap a little bit. Nice. It's much better. Much smoother. Oh, oh no! Yeet! Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought I gave him enough room, but apparently not. If this was iRacing, I'd be getting yelled at right now. <laughs> Even though the, like, the faster classes always drive like dicks, it's kind of your responsibility if you're in a slower class to stay out their way. I kind of agree with that one. I can go deep into that corner, but not that deep. I see, look, I'm making up time now, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've seen on like iRacing compilations of just like P1 drivers getting murdered by some like random GT3 at the back, and it's like, you should probably just stay out the way. If they're going for like the overall race win, you should stay out their way. Really. I know every class is kind of essentially equal and everyone, is, you know, every winner, class winner is champion in their own right, but just stay out the P1's ways, dude. <laughs> cool, I'm up a little bit on this lap. Just go. There we go. Bit later. Oh, and then, pff, that happens. Oh, come on. 13 seconds slow down. I can't do that. No. That's brutal. Well, there goes the lead. So that's what I need to watch out for. But a 15 second slowdown just because I missed my breaking point and went over the chicane is ridiculous. Yeah, it gives you way more acceleration onto the straight and it's quite a reasonably long straight. So, all right, anyway. Need to work on getting the lead back. Another Corvette. Well, here we go. Don't mind if I do. No, not quite. I pushed him wide a little bit, so... Yeah, that's a slightly unfair slowdown. Because normally it gives you like the five second slowdown, but I think it's because I went over both sides of the chicane, but I don't know how I'm supposed to go over one and not the other. Well, I learned my lesson. Break at the 150 sign for that corner, bruh. At least I have somebody else to follow now. That was crazy, 15 seconds slowed. And those are so annoying because it was like right before the end of the lap as well. And if I didn't take the penalty, I'd get disqualified. Uh, trying to let the P1 through. Oh, I can't believe this guy's getting held up so bad. And there's one behind us as well. I'm going to have to let him go on the straight. Go on, go past. And there's another one coming as well. I've got to keep left. Yeah, he's coming past as well. Ooh. Don't want to go too wide through there. Oh, come on! I'll just slow down to 35k through this corner. Bro, those slowdowns are brutal. All right, okay, I need to not do that. I've got two penalties in like two laps. That's not good. All right, I've got to catch first place up now. I've got five laps to go. Oh, too deep. Oh, he's been held up. No idea what happened there. I think they had an accident. Oh god, now I'm going wide. So that's the thing. It's always like, once I get past about 10 laps, my consistency starts to go. Right, let's try and be smooth. 
I'm oh, back in the lead so I can be smooth boy until the end. Go on, through we go. Another blue flag, another faster car coming up ahead. Oops, someone retired. Now he's going to have to get me after the chicane, after the pin, pin rather. I'll go deep, just let him through. There we go. See, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a good GT3 driver. I let you through without ruining my own lap. Gotta watch out for that chicane again. Oh, God, bollocks. Way too much. Ooh, sliding a little bit. Yeah, I'll check out the BMW. We'll do like another track next. I'll see what else the game has in base content that I'm pretty good at. bit understeery through there. Nice, that's clean. Alright, let's try and get a decent lap this time. Yes, first hairpin is so tight. Next corner exit. I've definitely got like at least a second in time I could very easily make up. It's just stringing together a good series of corners. I'm not doing that. There go my gains. Nice. Go a tiny bit further into the hairpin than I have before. See, I can just get on the power so much easier. Oh, not quite early enough, though. A little bit too zealous on the power. Ooh, bump in the road there. Ooh, that was bad. Way too wide. Oh, that's too deep. We're two tenths up though, so I should be able to beat my lap this time. I'm pulling away from, from second and third place. Okay, it's got a breaking point right. Just touched the 150 sign. Come off the brakes. Ah, oh, damn, lost some time there. Must have got the chicane really right on my fastest lap. Oh, if I hadn't slid it there, I would have I would have gone positive. Oh well, zero exact time to the thousandth. Ooh, too quick on the downshifts. Bit slidey through there, but gain some time. Go on, lad. <sighs> that was a mess. Yeah, Laguna Seca will be fun. I like Laguna. I haven't got Suzuki yet. I need to either get a mold or buy the track pack for it. See, you can't put the power down anywhere near as early when you leave, but you don't have any problems. You're not going to go into the gravel or slide. Okay, nice. Clean through here. This is where I lost time last time. That's better. It's about as fast as I was on my first lap. Come on. Bit careful through there, but... 
But it's just so interesting how gentle I'm being. Like, I'm barely touching the pedals. Like, I'm so gentle on throttle and brakes, but that's how you got to drive these cars. Seven tenths up. Let's not balls this up. So you can take a bit more of the first apex, but you've got to be a bit gentler on the second one. But if you clip the first one, it's difficult to get the rotation for the second. Oh, nice nearly on the power. Cool, six tenths. Very happy. Three more laps to go. Rotation in, stab on the power. Oh no, too early. Oh, way too early on the apex. See, I'd love to be able to put two fast laps together. <laughs> I can do like one, and the next one's an absolute mess, like this one is. Oh well. That's why I say when I mean consistency, like I'd love to be taking corners the same every lap. I'll try and slink down a little bit. Like I'd love to be braking in the same point, turning in on the same point, taking the exact same lines. So now I tried the... So sloppy getting on the power. There's definitely time by going deeper into the hairpin, but I can't quite manage it yet. A bit more... No, that was a complete mess. Yeah, trying to find time through the S's as well, but... Okay, let's go. It's way too deep. <sighs> Tires on fire. So that's the thing where it's like, I gain six tenths in one lap, and then I lose two seconds in the next. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I just got to sit down in my chair more. And here we go. That was an absolutely atrocious lap. And I've lost all my time to second place. I can go a bit faster through here. I'm being very conservative through there. I can break a bit less. Alright, let's try and do a fast lap again. One fast lap, one slow one. Leaders on final lap, so this is the final lap. Actually, I don't know. They might not catch us by the time we go past the finish line. Here we go. Come on, nice and early on the power. Cool, two tenths up so far. Bit deeper. That's how we take the corner. Immediate two and a half tenths gain. Gotta be so careful. Again, made up time through that corner as well. Slidey. A bit late on power as well. Oh, did okay. Didn't lose too much time through there. Tried being a bit. Going a bit deeper into the last corner, and I made a tiny bit of time faster onto the line. Cool! 201 is pretty fast, I'm pretty happy with that. It's definitely a lot faster than my early laps were. Alright, oh, just got to finish the race now. Got 
we go. The rotation early, then on the power early. Hmm. Just up on my delta. Carry a bit more speed. Again, doing pretty well. Two fast laps in a row, that'd be hilarious. Oh my god, I've got traffic. Yeet. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh no! <laughs> Lost the lead on the last lap. No! That's all it takes, one mistake. And then I'm stuck behind this sodding P1, come on. No! Oh, I'm gonna be heartbroken. Now I'm having to avoid these guys because he won't move out the way. Uh, why are they passing me? They've already finished. Bruh. Looks like I have to settle for second place. That's so annoying. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if the uh, Lotus was going to pass or not, so... Oh, damn it. Yeah, you can carry way more speed into that corner. I gained two tenths on my delta there. Damn, well, winner in spirit, but I'll happily take second place. Interesting. <sighs> so yeah, so the, the P1s were... <laughs> Alright, let's head back to uh, main menu. I'll pick, I've got to put the music back on as well, because it goes off. It do go down. Oh cool, I was uh, faster than my previous fastest time. So I'm I'm pleased I am definitely getting faster the more I, the more I practice. I'm pleased to see a difference. I'm getting smoother and more consistent. Just wish I'd made it oh this has come off. Just wish I'd made it on through that last lap without wobbling. Let's go pick a different track. Hmm. Yeah, let's hit Laguna Stay Cuts. Again, pretty short and easy to learn but challenging to master I think it's a shorter lap time too so we'll keep the p1s in all right let's go for uh, let's go for the BMW then m3 GT2 I'll give that one a try <laughs> I might like this one more than the Corvette we'll find out yeah I feel like I'm getting better for sure I mean last time I streamed was like the first day I had the wheel so I'm definitely getting better at being smooth. I'm trying to get smooth before I get aggressive. Alright, here we go. Again, this is the super soft, which is good for qualifying. I'll just go out with base setup and I'll see. Hi hey Bernie, how's it going? We're just doing some uh, um the world's worst sim racer now. I'm just doing just doing I got a wheel, so I'm just doing some practice with my wheel and my pedals, trying to get better. The jewel, it's it's actually a caliburn. I can't afford uh jewel pods, and the caliburn's refillable and it's got like a big tank and a bigger battery. I prefer the jewel infinitely, but it's like ten pounds for a pack of pods, I just can't afford them. And they're like one point five percent in the UK, so they're not strong, so I I burn through them way too. I can get through a pack of four pods in like a week. So, I don't want to spend £10 a month. This is infinitely cheaper. <laughs> it's like £10 for a pack of four refillable pods, and then the liquid's like £3. And you can refill these up. One of these will last you a week. So, it's like, it's about £3 a week as opposed to £10 a week. So, my stupid, disgusting, unhealthy, expensive habit. I'm at least being as cheap as I can. Well, the BMW certainly sounds better than the Corvette. Gotta get used to my mirror being in a different place. Whoops. Mustn't leave the pit lane. Ooh, this feels definitely faster. Can't see what gear I'm in. <laughs> Whoops. Word. Ooh, gold. Yeah, I like how detailed the cars are. I mean, these are all base contents, so they're pretty good. Right. Yeah, the Lagoon Saker is definitely a really fun track. Right, here we go. 
Uh, I have, um, at the moment, it's, well, I don't actually like this flavor very much, but I'm trying to like, not waste. I want to like, use the ones that I buy. It's a banana caramel waffle, and it just tastes like bitter, so I don't really like it very much. It's really hard, that's the thing, like, with the, the, oh god, someone's died. With the refillable ones, it means you have to buy liquids, and like, the liquids are so inconsistent, because you never, you don't really know what you're getting till it arrives. Like, the jewel flavors are all so good, and that's why it's so popular, because they just taste great, and they're just really consistent, but with, um... Ooh... That's a fun section. With the refillable ones, because there's a million different brands, and they're all, like... So, I would ideally like mango. Like, the mango jewel flavor is so good. That's, like, my favorite, but... Go on, go past, go past, go past. But, um, I haven't found anything that likes that, so whenever I get... I get liquids, I get like a couple different ones, and if I like it, I buy it again. Yeah, it, fe it definitely feels, it definitely feels faster than the Corvette. I just need to get used to it. Oh, here we go, so yeah, that's not right. I call my braking and turning points are going to be different. Definitely sounds much better. A bit, bit more of a rev to it. There we go. Well, I miss having the delta on the time on the steering wheel. That was always really useful. Oh, just murdered the curb. That would have mashed my, my front splitter in real life. Okay, let's go. Got this GTR up behind me. Ooh, and then we're round. <laughs> oh. There's there's my Corvette. Now let's go back to let's go back to the pits. Made a mess out of that one. Whoop, how do I change the camera? There we go. Yeah, I can't really tell too much of a difference yet. I'm not familiar enough with the car. It just feels more powerful. I know the Corvette's not the fastest in a straight line, so... Uh, you know what, Benny? I don't actually like White Claw. <laughs> like... White Claw is great if you want to get really, really, really messed up really quickly. I don't know why, because it's not strong, it's like 5%, but I think it's because it's somewhat a placebo effect, because it tastes like, when you drink it, it tastes like poison. Like, it tastes it tastes like you shouldn't drink this. It, it tastes like drain cleaner. Like, it's not actually, like, nice to drink, but it just, like, if you want to party. And also, it's like, when, when you're on tour, it's like White Claw Boys, so it's like, you know, we're, we're all we're all slamming them, so. I've been on like a diet for the last six weeks and I can't handle any alcohol at the moment. If I have like, I had I had like a can of, but like a small can. Oh my God, there's just these cars everywhere. They've all died. I had a small can of Bud Light with like my dinner a few days ago and I was fucked up. So I'm like, yeah, oh, that's too deep. Not drinking very much. I don't drink much anyway, but oh God. That's the thing when you're on tour, like, you end up drinking far more than you ever do. Like, I'm certainly not a drinker at all, especially not, like, a regular one. And then on tour, it's like, yeah, let's go. I'm having, like, three or four drinks every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can break later in this car. If I broke at that point in the Corvette, I'd be in the gravel. Oh, no, we have... It, it's, it's definitely... It has my endorsement as, like, a funny drink to drink when you're on tour and you're a rock star, but... It just tastes like, it tastes like poison. It tastes like, I don't know if you get those, we're starting to get in the UK, those like knockoff, um, knockoff LaCroix, like flavoured seltzers. It tastes like one of those with poison in it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't miss drinking LaCroix. Like, if I had the choice between any alcoholic beverage, it's probably like my 20th pick. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my, my go-to is 
either a Guinness or an IPA or a gin and tonic or a uh, nice whiskey with a bit of ice. Those are my preferred drinks. I also like good cocktails, not shitty cocktails. To be honest, I do a lot of coasting in the Corvette anyway. Yeah, I imagine if it's got more rear downfalls, it's going to be a bit understeery, so yeah, I'm doing all right. So I can brake, like... But yeah, it's way stronger on the brakes. Yeah, I think it's definitely a faster car. I don't know how consistent I can be in it, though. Ooh, slidey boys. Ooh, I'm about to get killed. <laughs> Gaunt. Oh, you know what? I was in um, Weatherspoons, actually. Boo, firstly. I hate how, like, the Weatherspoons owner is such a dick. Because it's, like, the only place I can afford... The only pub I can afford to go to. And Weatherspoons is great. I love Weatherspoons. Um, but I was in there before... That was, like, my last hurrah before the... Um, well, I say before the quarantine, it was actually about a week. I decided to start self-isolating like about two weeks ago. And um, I asked for a, a gin and tonic and, um, with my meal, with, with my plate of chicken wings. And uh, I, it's so funny. I got it in like a really big like white wine glass. And I was just like, what is this? Like gin and tonic served in a highball. Like I was a bartender. Like, don't give me this shit. And it was just like, what the fuck is this? It's just like mummy needs her gin. It's like, I'm not drinking. I was drinking like Hendrix with a uh, tonic. That's not like a mummy gin. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not going to Spoons at the moment because I'm self-isolating, but um, but the thing is, literally every year, the, the twat that runs Spoons does something stupid, and everyone's like, oh, we're going to boycott it, but it's like, it's literally the only pub I can afford to go to, because they have everything you want. They have every alcohol you could possibly want, and it's good. Like, their Guinness is good, their beers are good, their spirits are good, and they're way cheaper than anywhere else. Holy shit, you met him. He's like 6'5". Well, I thought he'd be like kind of a short guy. Yeah, that sucks. Well, well I'm glad you don't work there anymore. Well, I hope that's that's on your terms, not theirs. Because I understand it's probably a pretty, pretty rough place to work. I mean, any, any, any kind of bar or kitchen is, but yeah. He is an absolute top bell end, though. He is an absolute, absolute asshole. But I do like supporting the pubs and supporting the people that work there. I always tip really well when I go there. And I, li I just like how you can get any food and any drink combination for, like, under £10. <laughs> oh, God, I'm being messy, but yeah. Right, I'll head back to the pit to see how my laps are doing. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I won't be going for a while until stuff reopens, and then, you know, we'll see... I'd love it. If, if there was, like, an equivalent that wasn't spoons, I'd love it, but... Like, you can go and get, like, any food you want and any drink you want combination for, like, less than £10. It, it, it is, it's a shame the guy who runs it is such an asshole and he runs a company so badly because it's such a good chain of restaurants and pubs. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, pretty much all, like, fast, casual eating establishments are all horrible to their workers and horrible people and run by horrible people. I saw um, Carluccio's is potentially going to collapse, and I actually used to work there. Fuck that place. Honestly, fuck the people that run that. It sucks for the workers because they're going to be out their jobs, but I'm fucking glad that place is closing because it's shit and it's run by twats. <laughs> Come at me, Carluccio's. <laughs> you can kiss my left one. Anyway, all right. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not last. I've got about two seconds to gain on the fastest cars, which isn't undoable. Isn't not doable, sorry. Where to qualifying? Yeah, I don't know why he has to be such a knob. Like, just run your chain of pubs and be fair. Like, that's all you have to do. But I don't know why he, like, opens his big stupid mouth all the time. It's like, no one cares. You're the spoons, man. Like, just shut up. Hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, the, and also, I love how they're just everywhere. There's like four or five in Liverpool, and there's like one really near to where I live. There was another one really near to my old house. When I lived in South London, there was one walking distance from my house. 
and they are just everywhere you go they're always the same they're always really consistent i've never had a bad experience there apart from the one in dalston that one sucks but that's because it's in dalston but um yeah and i love how it's like you can get any food you want and some of the food there is banging like the the sweet potato sweet potato and chickpea curry is delicious their burgers are good their steaks are good their fish and chips is good like their chicken their chicken wings are like literally my favorite chicken wings it's, it's so messed up like and their desserts are good their apple crumbles banging they they pull they pull pints of guinness properly i did when i was last there i did see something a bit scary um and i saw a, th a thing in the bathroom that said uh, all of our workers wear body cams for your security and i was like no that just means you're fucking spying on your employees how grim is that working in a pub being forced to wear a body cam all the time i appreciate it's for their safety from like asshole stupid drunk people but that's so dystopian like you can't go and like have a like five minute cry in the cupboard you can't like you talk shit about your manager they're gonna hear it it's just like so bad i really didn't like that if anything would make me make me boycott Wellspoons, it would be that them not treating their employees properly. Here we go. But yeah, it's a shame the company's run so badly because it's such a cool company. Well, hopefully after the societal decline of coronavirus has recovered things will change i'm not optimistic they will i think they're going to get worse but we can at least pray right here we go so i feel a bit more confident now. i've got the soft tires on oh that's a great way it's a great way to start my qualifying lap just running wide all right here we go that was faster than mclaren on my out lap so that's pretty good Yeah, I haven't I haven't slid at all in this car. It's a lot more grippy. It's just just a generally quite a bit faster car than the Corvette. The Corvette has a bit more front end. It's a bit pointier, but this is a it's a definitely faster car. I was a bit slow through there. Sorry, I'm holding this Lotus up. I'm on my qualifying lap. Go away. Oh my god, they're, they're all just dead. They've all just beached themselves in that gravel trap. I think the AI isn't the best. <laughs> Alright. I can be so much more aggressive through there. Yeah, the rear is way more planted. It's probably good for a track with as many undulations as this one. Ooh. Yeah, I can be a lot more greedy on the throttle if I want to. Oh, too deep. Yeah. Though I do like the Corvette as a training car, just because it's so balanced. Yeah, I'm pretty fast. I'm only... Well, I'm second place out of the, out of the uh, GTs. You get more rotation in the Corvette, but you can be earlier on the power with the BMW. Trying to be a bit more aggressive this time around. Go on, go past. Yeah, that's much faster. Yeah, that's a lot faster as well. I could have taken that corner in fourth gear. Yeah, I could just break a lot later. This is a much better lap. Whoop, well it was, fuck. No! <laughs> Yeet! Oh no, no, balls it up. Alright. <laughs> Back to the pits. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to get pole position. Yeah, I'll definitely check. I haven't checked those mods out yet. I will do at some point. I've just been trying to learn the base content. 
Yeah, so I'm like fourth place. I think that's fine. I don't want to be up too far up the front. Yeah, of course. I'm fourth place out of my class. All right, let's go put the sort of mediums on. Oh, I've got plenty of fuel. Take a bit out. <sighs> yeah, I would love it if Spoons sorted their business out a little bit and weren't so horrible for no reason. I hope, I do hope this changes how workers are seen. Like, it's really dumb how, like, less than a month before all this crazy stuff started, Boris Johnson was basically saying that people who work in restaurants and bars and supermarkets aren't skilled workers and, and he was saying you can't enter this country if you're not a skilled worker and that was only a very narrowly defined band of things and I hope this makes a lot of really stupid middle class people realize that just because they have an office job they're not a skilled worker it's like that's no more that just means you have better schooling and better connections yeah yes yeah, uh, smash it on discord you know, there's, there's really no difference. I think all jobs should be earning, you know, the same level of money. Just because you work in an office doesn't entitle you to more money than someone who works at a supermarket. It's all the same. It's all work. I don't know. This, this whole experience has definitely opened my eyes up to the whole idea of universal basic income as well. Um, seeing how many people are not getting government help at the moment, I think is really bad and really depressing. How, like, like, for example, with the there was some really lame self, like self-employed aid um, introduced today and it just excludes so many people and it's just so many people throughout this whole crisis of being left with absolutely no source of income and it's just like I don't know what we're supposed to do right okay so let's try and let's try try the 15 lap Laguna Seca don't crash challenge. <laughs> oh, it's way better off the start as well. well. Funnily enough, my old Corvette qualified P1. All right. Oh, we're gonna go too wide. I don't want to go too wide through here. Nice and early on the brakes. Got 15 laps to pass these guys. No lap one here. Heroics necessary. Yeah, dunk up the inside. Right, let's go. You can definitely drive a bit more aggressively in this car. lot quicker on the power. Cool, I'm gaining on the McLaren up the hill. Let's try to pass through here. Ooh. Bit of door banging, but that's all good. Robin's racing. Too many beans through there. I wonder how many how many of those loaders are gonna retire. I bet all of them. <laughs> There's gonna be like two left. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on. Let's catch up P2. Yeah, I never would have thought I could have broke that late in this corner. beans <laughs> I guess in the race probably the wrong time to find the limit to this car oh, it's so much late it's so much stronger on the brakes
Yeah, you can definitely slam the throttle down a lot more as well. Don't have to be anywhere near as careful as I do in the Corvette. So, <coughs> after this race, I'll take my fastest lap from this race and I'll see how I can do in the Corvette if I can get near it. It might be faster just because I know the car a bit better. messy through there. It's going so much faster. Yeah, lots more grip. Ooh. Ken, <laughs> those big like red curbs are deadly. Cool, thanks dude. Yeah, I really appreciate all that. I will get into it at some point when I get deeper into the game. Right now, I'm just learning how to drive without crashing. But I am already itching for more tracks and more plugins and stuff like that. I'd love to have some more displays because the stock game doesn't really have anything. I'd love to have like a, a lap delta. I'd love to have tire temps because then I can see when I'm overworking the tires. Because right now, I'm just guessing. <laughs> limits are. It can be a bit faster through there. Right, let's be smooth through here. That's not smooth. Wrestling the car, and I nah, bend it. <sighs> Let's go. No, too fast again. God, I'm hitting. I'm hitting every single gravel trap in the circuit. That's a dreadful lap. Yeah, well, I'll check those out too. Right, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving like a I'm driving like a rally driver at the moment, not a racing driver. <laughs> better. That's how I need to take that corner. I can break a bit later here. That's way better. Still a bit slow. I probably don't need to go down second in that corner. This car's got shorter gears than the uh, Corvette. That's way better. I can almost wait to the top of the hill to break from that corner. all through the corkscrew section are much faster. Nice. Way better lap. Almost caught completely up to that Ferrari. <sighs> Skipping over the curbs. I'd love to see what my lap time was. <laughs> Lighty. 
like those rears. Up. Well, first place is just gone. Can break more into the corners in this car as well, actually. Always a blue flag as a P1 coming up behind me. Yeah, nice nearly on the power. Got him going up the hill. Come on, let's go. Uh, come on, little BMW. <laughs> nice and wide, nice and wide, nice and wide. Oh, I've got him. Super gentle through here. Hey, that's P2. I'll take that. Where is that F1 car? Just got to hold them up, unfortunately. Please don't give me a penalty. All right, go on, go past. Go past, you big stinker. Go past, go right, pass right, pass right, pass to the outside. <laughs> you always pass to the outside. Ah. Whoops, wasn't looking. Fuck. I was trying to look at the, um, oh god, the leaderboard to see how far ahead first place was, but I have no idea. It doesn't say. Oh god, that's rubbish. Go on, go past. Yeah, I don't need to go down to second, I can take that in third. Finally. Oh, very late. <sighs> Almost spun there. That was a mess. God damn it. Ooh. <sighs> well held. Yeah, I'm way sloppier on this one. I don't know. I must be in first place because I don't know where... Well, no, he's 62 seconds behind, I think, but where am I? Doesn't say. The leaderboard's not telling me. <laughs> I don't know what position I, I'm in, how far behind I am. be that far up the road. He'd be like 15 seconds ahead if he was that far if I couldn't see him. Yeah, third's much faster through there. Cool. Go on, through you go. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, they just took each other out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, almost had my race ended there. Yeah, I'm going too deep in the corkscrew. I can go wider on corner entry, but I don't have the confidence yet. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm leading my class. I don't know who's in front of me. Maybe he got murdered by one of the P1s. Go on, go past. Go past, go past. Let's go, boy. Right, break earlier than I have been. It's too early. A way faster on corner exit, though. 
just took him out the right amount of curb. Go on. That's too deep. Oh yeah, I'm up to sixth now. Although I'm third, I think it says I'm 13 seconds behind. Whoever's in P5, so that must be, that must be the Corvette. Well, if he is 13 seconds ahead, I ain't catching him for sure. Yeah, that was how I should be doing that sector for sure, with the exception of the last corner. And I can get way quicker on the power through here. I can carry way more speed into here. Not like that. That's too much. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I think the trick is braking earlier for the corkscrew. Because then you can just be flat, like I'm flat through this whole section. And then lifting off here. Yeah, from, from the, the crest of the corkscrew I can be flat in this car. That's so wide, god damn. That's my next lap ruined as well. <laughs> race finished. Looks like I'm going to be P2 for two races in a row then. That's too fast. That really sucked. Uh. bit later on the brakes. Oh no, I just got sucked out there. Yeah, I'm kind of pushing the limits a bit at the moment. Once you get the power down here, you can really floor it. Nice. Again, I'm going too deep in this corner. Right, let's make this one a clean one. <laughs> Lol, he's been saying for the last 13 laps. Break it three. Mm, a bit gentle there. <sighs> now I'll break it the two for this one. Just got on the power a bit earlier, I think. On three, you go. Oh my god. Oh no, I just hit him. <laughs> I don't know why those cars will kill themselves through there. Well, I got split to damage now, so I'll take it easy. Last thing this car needs is even less front downforce. Oh. Rip, rip, no! <laughs> it's always the same, it's always like in the last couple laps. And I flat spotted my tyre. It's a bit more vibration now. Yeah, I just was yeeting it too much the last lap or two. Right, let's see if I can make up one or two places from these guys. That 
that's not how you do it. <laughs> Again, see, that's the thing. When I, I just kind of hit my mental limit after about 10 laps and I just get really inconsistent. And that's when I start making mistakes. That's why I want to practice doing slightly longer races. So I have the mental capacity to... It's also really hot in my office. So I have the mental capacity to... Uh, Oh, see now, I'm completely not paying attention. Yeah, I, I need to definitely get up the mental fatigue to where I can be, I can concentrate for longer. Cause I've done really long races before. Like I remember on R Factor 2, I did a whole um, F1 1979 season with the 79 cars on the 79 tracks. That's an awesome mod, by the way. And uh, I was doing like 30, 40 lap races on that. That was, that was good. But that was when I was like playing a lot of RF2 and I was really clued in. Be interested to see what my uh, best lap was. Pfft, not this one, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the last like five laps have just been garbage. I didn't get any slowdowns on this lap on this race though. Oh no, it's the final lap. Oh no, I thought I was done. <laughs> I just had leaders at leaders on the final lap. Go on, go through, go through, go through. Oh God. Yeah, my, my brain's hit its limit for this race. I need to have a glass of Bepis and a sit down for five minutes. <laughs> ah, no, I'm all over the place now. That's like such a thing though, like last lap syndrome, when you just kind of, your brain just goes off. Minus the oversteer, that's kind of how you take that corner. That's not how you take that one. Jesus Christ. It's annoying the replay in this game only goes back like one or two laps, like it doesn't give you the full race option, otherwise I'd like to go check out what I was doing wrong. I think it was just, just I just reached my mental limit on that one, doing two races back to back as well. So yeah, so I, in, I, in the end I finished fourth in my class, I would have been second in my class. God, look how far I had that Corvette, it was 25 seconds ahead of everyone else, that's insane. Hmm. Only uh... Like I said, only two Lotuses finished, the rest of them crashed out. I'll take those out for the next race. Oh my god. I'm going to have a sit down for a minute. So a 125.6. Let me write that down on my phone. And I'll try and see how close I can get to that in the Corvette. The BMW is definitely faster, but I'm just more used to the Corvette. 125.6. Yeah, RF2 has full replays too, and also I really like this. RF2 has continue from replay, which is almost like an infinite flashback. You can just go into your replays, and any race you have, you can just pick any moment and just rejoin the race right there. It's really cool. If you're doing a long race and you just have a really bad crash, and you're just like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to cheat and go back in. So let me, let me head back there. I'll just change my car. All right, I'm just going to... Uh, just gonna grab a drink, I'll be back in a sec. Get go to the toilet, grab a drink. Let's put some getting getting beepies. Bruh.
All right, I'm back. Right, let's go. I'm going to jump back into uh, Laguna Seca and I'll see what time I can do. Oh, no. Oh, there's the cable from my Wii sensor bar is wrapped around my pedals. That's probably a bad idea. There we go. I'll jump back in in the Corvette and I'll see how close I can get to my time. I might even beat it. Oh, there's some tomfoolery going on with my green screen. Hang on. The Velcro keeps coming off my table. Stick, you bastard. <sighs> Alright, let's jump in. Much more familiar feeling. Much more familiar feeling cockpit. Yeah, this is way more slidey in comparison. It's definitely a lot pointier at the front end, which I like, though. Yeah. I feel like you, you can definitely hit the apexes a lot easier. And I like that it's a little bit slidey because it teaches you to be a bit more... It teaches you to be just a bit more cautious. Because in the, in the out... BMW, you can be just slamming the throttle. Ooh, yeah, see, that's where I gotta watch out. Definitely can't be flat through there, <laughs> otherwise, I will spin. I almost feel like this has more pull after you get past the initial power. I think it's a. I think this car's a turbo. Definitely when you get up in those like mid range revs, it's a bit torquier. Oh, God. Gotta break way earlier though. Yeah, definitely more front end point. Ooh, too much speed through there. Rear just starts sliding if you put that much lock on. sideways. Nope. <laughs> Downshift protection came in, couldn't put the gear down. Didn't lose enough speed. Yeah, get again. Got the cut. We're going too late on the brakes through there. What's well, one thirty? So <laughs> it's not very representative. <laughs> yeah. Already a second up. Yeah, here we go. That's the time gain. I feel this car has a lot more throttle off time. You're doing a lot more coasting in this one. That's too deep. That whole that whole corner was disgraceful. Oh god. Ah damn, I was like probably probably pretty close to my target time there. Hi Matthias, how's it going? 
Just doing some more, uh, just some more race car practice in the set of Corsa. I'll be doing, well, yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Just staying in, staying at home, not doing very much, unfortunately. Doing lots of cooking, lots of chilling, lots of playing with the cats. But unfortunately, I can't really do very much else. The uh, government did finally announce some kind of assistance for self-employed people in this country, but it's not a lot, and a lot of people are ineligible for it, so I'm doubtful I'll be able to get any government assistance, which really sucks. I'm going to have to, you know, like, do something else to pay my rent, but I have no idea what's going to happen, unfortunately. So I'm still very uncertain on that aspect, but yeah. I guess soon enough we'll see what happens. We're still in the kind of very early stages of lockdown, so... Whoop. Hopefully in the coming weeks, things will start to become a bit more apparent and the government can do a bit more about it. I know our Prime Minister... I say our Prime Minister, I fucking hate him. Boris Johnson's got coronavirus, he announced today. He tested positive and has had mild symptoms, so... I don't know. In the nicest possible way, I hope that gives him some empathy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh god, it's too late. Oh, that would if I hadn't messed up that corner I would have I would have got beat my time. So I'm trying to get I'm trying to beat a 256. I was just over 256 for a set in the BMW. I definitely feel faster in the Corvette. The BMW is a faster car, but the Corvette suits my driving style more, I think. Oh, it was better anyway, so I slid. Yeah, I, li I like being more gentle on the throttle. With a pointier car, it's more me. Bit too slow through there. Yeah, other than that, I'm all good. Just, uh... Still concerned, but I guess I've been concerned now for a while. I can't be any more concerned than I, or, than I, or, I already am. That's faster. Oh, that's not. Just be nice and just gentle through here. There we go. Right, so I'm faster in the Corvette on like my fourth lap, so. I could, there's definitely another second in there, I reckon. So yeah, the Corvette's definitely faster for me than the BMW. Oh God. Oh, I need a break. I've been driving for like an hour, almost two hours. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Please see, uh, I was, the Corvette's the right car for me. What other tracks are there, I wonder? Well, this is new. I haven't noticed that before. Trento Bondo in Hill Climb Course. But that's pretty fun. Mm. Oh, I just realised that you can't see my screen because it only captures one of the apps at a time. Oh, damn. I kind of think I'm good, to be honest. Like, my leg's kind of starting to hurt now. My ankle still hurts. I could do another race, but I don't want to push it. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head off to bed then. Thanks everyone for joining. Sorry, sorry, Matthias, you only just joined. I'm back in a couple of days. We'll do something community based over the weekend. I saw uh, Rusty gave me a link to 100% uh, orange juice, which is free on Steam at the moment. That's multiplayer, so I'll check that out maybe tomorrow, and uh, we'll set up something for either Saturday or Sunday. Actually, tomorrow is Saturday, so either tomorrow or Sunday we'll set something up with a bunch of people. If you got any uh, recommendations, anything you want to play or want to see, whack them on the upcoming streams chat on Steam and on Steam on Discord, and we'll work out something for uh, the weekend. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll uh, see you later. Take it easy, everyone, and uh, have a good weekend. Cheers. Bye.